Hi, it's me again. And in this video, I thought it would be good if I actually showed you um, kind of how these things work out. So I'm going to look at a couple of charts. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually I'm actually just going to just going to pick kind of the matrix background to show you because it's the easiest way to show you. But I want to show you what's possible with this. And if you this this will hopefully answer the question, well, what what if I don't have a lot of money to start trading with? How can I scale? Um, those sort of things. So as we go through this, what I want you to do for me, I want you to remember the number six. If you can remember more than one number, I want you to remember number six. Remember 175. So that's six, 175, and then 28. Okay, if you can remember 28, that would be great. Um, so I'll cover in this video also how you could get a funded account. So even if you don't want to use any of your own money, if you can prove you can trade using this system, there are companies out there known as prop firms, and they will basically let you trade their money and split the profit with you, which is pretty good. Right? In your favor, I might add, not 50-50, they'll split it with you in your favor. So let's get into the good stuff. So what I've done, guys, I've set this spreadsheet up here. Oh, I'll also show you compounding in this one. I'm just going to try and keep this brief. But uh, we've been looking at GBPUSD, so let's stick with GBPUSD. And what I've done here, look, I've turned off the high Kanashi candles and I've turned off the indicator. So for those of you that know a little bit about Forex, high Kanashi candles can give like a different reading. Um, so it's, I'm going to be more accurate measuring it this way for you. So this is just using the matrix now. And we're going to start here. This is 6.40 in the morning. So London opens around here. See the time before, look, this is not what's known as consolidation, right? This is the Asian session. So I'm going to start kind of from this morning. So I wake up, we're getting near London open. Um, and so you could do it before work, you do it at lunchtime, you do it when you get home in the evening. We've got a guy who went full time doing it, just getting home in the evening. We've got, we got people who drive full time. You know, there's a way, there's a style, there's a way to trade that suits your lifestyle. So let's look at what is possible, right? So remember six. So we got a ninja down, sorry, we got a ninja matrix down. Uh, so we can't get in actually on the alert candle guys, by the way, because that, that alert could disappear. So we wait for the whole five minute candle to form. So uh, here we would get in on that candle there. We'd actually get a couple of pips profit. We go five pips the wrong way. So you'd actually be making a loss at that point, but it's not a loss unless you close it out. If we come all the way down to there, look, you've got a maximum 50. Now, on a five minute chart, which this is, each candle is five minutes in time. I'm, I'm generally, you know, I'm happy to grab five pips, but I've got a maximum of 50. So where's my calculator? So I could have got 50 plus. And I'm going to say as I'm going through this, guys, you probably won't catch to the pip, as we say. You won't get every single pip. This one here, getting on the next candle to the right, you've got a potential of 23. Plus 23 plus um, and again I'm trying to do this real quick for you now so I'm going to speed along a little bit this one here you'd have gone seven pips the wrong way then you came down your potential was 30 pips plus 30 plus uh, and then this one here we get the up getting on the candle next I know it started there because it's a green candle so it started at the bottom and went up because it's green green for buy right so there is a potential of 16. And next one along, we have a potential, can't get in on this one, have to get in there. It goes the wrong way by three, four pips. Comes down, my potential is 39 plus 39. Remember you can set alerts for these as well. Do you know what, I'll do one more on this one. And I want to show you another another currency pair just because that one is eight. All right, so stop on that one. But you can see this one here. Look, that was a good one. So I'm gonna I'm not even gonna go all the way. <laughs> all right, I'll do, I'll stop there. So um, eight plus eight. So that there is 166 based on that spell of time. Um, so it's 166. Let's put that on the spreadsheet. 166 pips, right? So we're measuring in pips. Uh, and that's today, Tuesday. Uh, let's look at CAD JPY. I opened that up, I think. 
Yeah, and this is on the 15 minute time frame. So this is a this is each candle is now worth 15 minutes. Again, if you're brand new, you probably don't understand that. That doesn't matter because that's why that's why you learn. Now, bonus for you. Um, this is called the multi time frame stochastic. Uh, again, programmed by Kevin. Now, the way this works, guys, is it lets you sh it, it shows you basically two lines. I'm not you don't need to know exactly what they are. OK, but basically, if all the lines are at the bottom, there's a good chance the price will go up. So here, all the lines are at the bottom. We're waiting for the price to go up. Now, there are some people that kind of use this as a way to trade. And if uh, we expect here the price to go up, indeed, the price did go up. But look, it came back down. So you'd have been practically break even, maybe a little bit in profit. But then that's when the actual move happened. And that's when the background went blue, blue for a buy, red for a sell. Can you see up? Can you see down? Can you see the different color in the background? you can trade, <laughs> right? So uh, let's, again, this will, this is like London Open. So it's what's known as consolidation when basically the price is going sideways, right? I'll start from this one here at the end. Um, no, actually, where do you want me to start by? 7.45, so London, London kind of opens here. So we've got a ninja down there, ninja matrix down, I should say, keep saying that. And in this case, look, so we'd have got in on that one. We went 13 puts the wrong way. We could have got 11. And if we got out there, actually we'd be minus seven, but the, the potential there is 10, let's call it 10. Um, so clear. So we've got 10 plus, I'm trying to get one with a loss. That one there's a maximum of 18, so you could have got 18. We don't win every trade, guys. We don't pretend to, right? Nobody wins every trade, that's a promise. Because news happens at random, right? And the news can affect the price. So how anybody can say they get full, oh, I don't know. I think I'm on this one now, aren't I? So this one here, look, interestingly, you would have gone 19 pips the wrong way, but your maximum was 87. So if it's only a loss if you get out, and because that didn't really go above that line there, I would still be in that trade. Okay, looking for your previous high to be in. If you, if for those of you that do know a little bit, or if you're not sure, we have something called a a stop loss that you set, you decide, um, and how that works is you you decide where if the trade went above there, just get me out automatically, right? And we have ways of managing trades. These are all bonuses that we have in our group, but I can't go all through those just for time. So, so this one, what did I say? You get in there, you'd be the wrong way by about 19 pips and down to there was 88. Plus 88, plus uh, this one, not such a big move, but that's still 30. Plus 30. And do you know what? I'm, I'm gonna stop there. I, I mean, let's just see if there's a loss. I don't wanna. That was fine. That would be a big move. That would be a big move. That, I mean, this one, I'm not even going to add this one to the sheet in the interests of not trying to overhype this or anything. So I'd get in on that candle there. I would get three pips wrong, but then my potential is 228 pips. Now you see moves like that don't happen all the time. So I'm not even going to count it, but if you were trading with us, he says that, and then there's a 98 pip move there. Um, you know, here, look. Now, this one's interesting because that one went 20 pip, 22 pips the wrong way. And I might actually, this wick here might have stopped me out. So I might have got stopped on that one, just being honest with you, but that doesn't stop me getting in again, right? Uh, let's just put an arrow there. Let's put this on Heiko Nashi. Put the ninja cater back on. Got so many, I've got, like I say, it's a Swiss Army knife, guys. I've got more than one thing turned off, turned on on here. So can you see? Look, we've got another ninja down there. I don't know how well you can see that. So that's when I got in. That would have probably taken me out. I'll be dead honest. But look what came right after ninja down. Then I could be, I could be in there then for the ninja down for the sell, right? And I always use ordinary candles if I use ordinary candles. So let's just move, let's just move this to there. Back to ordinary candles. Uh, 
And there we are. See, it all stayed red, blah, 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 all the way down. Beautiful move, right? And that's how these things work in conjunction, right? So anyway, so that will do. So where are we at? So equals 166. Answer equals 166. Um, sorry, 146. 146. That's what it was so far, I guess. 146. So let's come to our spreadsheet now. Let's do 146. This is potential, remember. Now then, we measure movement in pips, okay? Um, equals that times that. Right, so each pip is worth what you make it worth, and that will depend partly on your lot size and how much you want to risk per trade, okay? So if you were to say 20 cents per pip, we've looked at two pairs there, and at 20 cents US, or it could be English money or euros or, or whatever, or yen, whatever, okay? But I'm using US dollars here as an example. You got a potential of $62.40. Uh, at a dollar a pip, it's $312. Um, now, let's suppose in, though, that you don't have, you know, a lot of money or some people just don't want to trade their own money. There are two ways of growing, okay? So one is to get a funded account. And there are companies out there, one is called Funding Talent. I'm actually going through a trial with them myself at the minute. Uh, let's see if it's up here. Why isn't it loading? Here we go. So as you can see at the minute, I am 33.2% up on my account here. And there's the graph showing the growth. So you see I had a bit of a wobbly there. We don't win every trade. But as you can see, this is when I started using the matrix. And as you can see, it's working pretty well. So 33% growth. Uh, and on that, uh, one of the, the all-time daddies of prop prop firms, they're called proprietary um, funds firms. Um, there's one here, look, you get, uh, you have to trade a minimum of 10 days on the first step of the challenge to prove you can trade. You're only allowed to lose $500 a day out of that. And you, your maximum loss overall is $1,000. But you have to make $1,000, that's 10%. So you have to make 10% account growth, right? Um, and it costs $155 to start, but if you're low on funds, you might want to use 155 euros in this case, sorry, not dollars, euros. You might want to put the 155 euros into this to get a $10,000 account rather than put that into your own trading. So uh, there are various ones of these. We help you with that in the group if that's something you're interested in. Um, in fact, uh, here you can see James, one of our group. Today has been a big step forward in my trading journey. I've just passed both FTMO verification stages and now have a fully funded account. Just want to say a big thank you to the whole Ninja team and a special mention for David Khan, whose Ninja Smart Money strategy has really helped me trade around my lifestyle. Uh, if I show you, I'll just show you this. Uh, David uses a strategy called Ninja Smart Money. That's not going to let me in. Let me show you the results, guys. You see, I'm doing this live. I've got nothing to hide here, right? This is all. This is all live. Maybe I'd be better organised if it <laughs> if it was. Right, go to Google Sheets. Right. Um, Ninja Smart Money Trades. So this is the strat. There's a strategy here that James is using. And here are the results for July. We're in July at the minute. And as you can see, the risk to reward, the risk on each trade is only 1%. So if the trade loses, you're going to lose 1%. Okay. But if you win, you make more than that as a percentage. And you can see there, look. So a uh, quick, quick calculation. 6 plus 6 is 12. Plus 4 is 14. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. So roughly 20% there. And he's lost one, two, three, four. So 16% account growth there. And with FTMO, you have to make 10%. Uh, 1,000 out of the 10,000 balance. Uh, but at, Paul, that could be a fluke, I hear you say. Um, so in June, David was off, right? Uh, seven, that's, that's, that's nearly seven, not 6.96. And that's a bit over seven. So let's call it seven plus seven is 14. 15, 16 minus two. 14% May, you can see April, you can see 
uh, March, you can see March was really good, right? Now, uh, David is now using the matrix to confirm the traits. OK, so that's funded accounts. But let's suppose you don't want to go for a funded account because you want to be free. You don't have to be tied by any rules. And you were going to put that 155, let's say, euros. I'm using a dollar sign to denote currency. But let's suppose you put that 155 into trading your own account. And you do what I do, which is aim for about 3% a day account growth, doing what I've showed you. Because look, how many how many of these have actually kind of lost, guys? You know, it's yes. Obviously, we don't win every single trade, but as you can see, we do pretty well, right? Um, and I'm going to show you the missing piece of the puzzle in the next video. Uh, but if you did that and you did an average of 3% a day, the first day you're going to make $4.65. Um, the next day you're starting with 159.65 rather than 155. So you make 4.79 and on it goes. And at the end of the first month, if you're consistent trading 20 days a month, you could have made 124.95. And like it says up here, guys, these are probable examples showing what can potentially happen only, not an income claim. I don't know why that's missing. That should be on there, not an income claim. Um, there you go. So it's all potential. Next month, though, you see you're starting, if you don't take any money out, you're starting with 279 and you could have made 225. And by the end of month, well, let's jump up a little bit. By the end of month four, you're being more consistent. If you're totally brand new, let's say, I'm being generous here, but you know, you could have made 736 and you'd have 1,649. The end of six months, you could have over 5K in your account and you could be making 2,400 and so on and so on. Now, potential 186,752 and you could be making 83,352. Now there's reasons why people don't do this because why would you need to make 5,000 a day? You wouldn't, okay? And although people do, for most people, they kind of hit a limit where they're kind of happy and they don't want to, if you're going to make that much, you've got to risk, you know, people cut down on the risk because the amount that you get as a return is still more than enough to live on. So, I will also say very few people do this because we don't win every trade. Like I say, there's the mindset stuff and we help you with that in our group as well. But my question to people is, look, if you did half of that, would you be happy? If you did 20% of that, would you be happy? If you were only 20% as good as this, would you be happy using these tools, using these tools that we get, that we have in our group with the support that we have in our group? OK, so hopefully that made sense. And in the next video, I'm going to come back to this spreadsheet. I'm going to tell you what six means. I'll see you then.